So let's have an honest discussion here. Um, I'll, I'll be the one who's being honest because I'm the only one who's honest. So I guess I'll have an honest conversation. I think a lot of people after this are going to have a lot of questions. And religions are going to need to be prepared on how they answer these questions because they've been falsifying everything about their identities for far too long. So maybe instead of like true Matrix style, never telling the truth and holding that mentality until the very end, until you have to, maybe you should start planning on how how you're going to explain this to multiple people. And if you want to keep your establishments going, how can you adapt your establishment to reality? This is helpful advice. This is not mocking you in any way. Um, I just think that enough people have been lied to for far too long. And what is your true beliefs in your church, in your establishment, in your mosque, in your whatever? Obviously, it's with the mindset to manipulate and murder anyone else who doesn't believe what we believe. But that mentality has to be tossed out the window because people like me and others like me, we're not going anywhere. And you're well aware of that. So to benefit yourselves and others, take the time, have discussions. Instead of talking plans on how to murder me, sit down and have an honest conversation. I don't know if you're able to, to do that, but try and have an honest conversation um, with your organizations to determine what the fuck you guys are going to do moving forward. Because it's obviously not going to remain what it was. Your beliefs are false beliefs at this point. Um, we've proven that. And you know that. You just don't want to admit to it. But at some point, you're going to have to admit to it. Just like at some point you're going to have to ad admit your guilt to your, to your selves in order to move on from this. Um, as per your way of living, confession of your sins, if you know how to do that, are you able to? Tell the truth to yourselves and your God and tell the truth about your sins? Or do you just expect others to tell your sins or tell their sins so you can hold them against the person? Your, uh, living in, in the past that may have never been real and a lot of people are going to have a lot to ask so in all honesty me being the one that's honest figure out ahead of time how you're going to handle this it's only fair to the people that you've been lying to all these years not to you guys it doesn't matter what's f fair to you guys we know what's fair to you guys you're just about manipulation, money. That's it. So 
figure it out. Figure out what your plan is in leading these people to a better life as you've led them straight to hell. This is me again, trying to be helpful to the masses of people in this world who maybe came against me, maybe for reasons that they don't know. But to protect beliefs that are not real, that are going to be proven that they're not real, well, already proven that they're not real, these people are going to need answers. And they deserve answers by you. It's not about who's right or wrong anymore. It's about how to move forward. We're never moving back. Don't you understand that? I know I'm not moving back to anything. That means neither are you. God leads the charge. God is leading me forward, not behind. So you need to figure out how you're going to move forward because you're not moving back. And these people need your guidance. Maybe they don't need your guidance. Maybe they just need my guidance. Maybe we don't even need you. I think that's a, a, a better option. Maybe they don't need you. But if you feel like they do need you, Maybe you should be there for them in an honest way, if you know how to do that. Since you're all about goodness in this world, the right thing to do. Pathetic. One word for, for, for all of it. P pathetic, the way you treat people. Anyway. This is an honest dude who loves a lot and still cares about all the people who hate me. Have a wonderful morning and uh, I love you all.